Hey what's up guys, welcome back to SL Supreme. Today we're going to be testing out the brand new Android 11 screen recorder and also giving you a small review. So right off the bat, you can access it in the notification center. So if it's not visible for you, you want to go edit and then drag the item up to where it's supposed to be. So there it is for me. And when you click on it, you get these two options, record audio on and off or show touches on screen. So with the actual microphone audios, you get three options. You get microphone, device audio, and your device audio and microphone. So I'm gonna show you each of these clips in action right now with the different presets. Test number one, and it's supposed to be only the microphone audio. So there should not be any game audio. And if you actually want to record your game audio, you can just turn up the volume. So let me go ahead and do that. And this is what it would sound like. So I'm not sure if it's going to ruin the quality or whatever, but let me go ahead and turn it back down. And if you guys want to see or hear, I guess, of what the actual voice sounds like with a little bit of edits in Premiere, this is what it sounds like with a little bit of edits. And let's go ahead and move on to the second test. Audio and the actual microphone recording at the exact same time. So this is what it sounds like. And yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Hey guys, welcome back. So you may have noticed the quality of the screen recording is actually very high. It's running the native resolution of your device and also recording at 60 FPS. But the one thing that sounds different in all these different recordings is the number three option, the device audio and the microphone audio. You may have noticed my voice cuts in in and out and doesn't really sound as crisp and clean as the first video. So the second video, of course, was only the game audio and it sounds really crystal clear. So I would not recommend for you guys to record your voice and internal audio. Instead, I would recommend you to do to what I did on the first video, and that is to turn up the game volume so then the mic picks up both your voice and the game volume. Keep in mind, I recorded on the Pixel 4a, and the microphone on that phone is actually pretty good. It's the best out of all the phones I have ever tested on this channel, which includes Pixel 1, Pixel 2, and Pixel 3. So the 4a is definitely the best camera and best 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 microphone so my actual overall score for this screen recorder would actually be an 8 out of 10 the reason i picked 8 is because i removed one point we're having terrible internal audio and microphone audio together so the actual internal audio recording was fine but my voice sounded very weird while recording with the internal audio and another reason why i didn't give it a 10 out of 10 is because it doesn't really give us more options like what if you wanted to record at lower quality or just the bit rate manually and just random settings like that would just make it absolutely perfect but overall this is actually a very nice feature to have in Android 11. So I thank you Google for adding this. But that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.